hello friends in this video we will see digital direct synthesizer so first i will open the bivado tool just right click on bivado and click on open It will take some time for opening. Just wait for a while. See, this is Bivada user interface. Here we can create new project. Just click on create project then click on next then give the name of the project dds demo dds demo demo project just uh, i'll create dds demo project and i'll show how dds will work what are the input and output to the DDS and uh, where DDS can be used in real time ok uh, first give the uh, name of the project and also mention the directory path where you want to store this project just uh, I am storing this project in this PC then go to D directory then I am selecting Anil Research Academy. In this directory, I want to store this project. Then click on Next. Select RTL project. Then click on Next. Create the file. Project file. DDS demo. And project file name is DDS demo. You can give any name. Then click on next. Then click on next. Select the FPGA board having package and speed grade. Package I am using CLG 400 and the speed grade I am using minus one. And this is the part number of the FPGA work which is I am using currently. Just select this part number and click on next. Then click on finish. Now project is initializing. DDS demo. This is the module name. So give the module name. Module name is DDS demo. You can give any name. Just I am giving DDS. DDS model. DDS DDS model and click OK. Click Yes. See here. You can see project is created DDS dash demo dot V. This is the project file name and DDS underscore model. This is the model name. Just double click on this and go to the text editor and you can see see here module d module name dds module and end module okay this is the module name and this is the keyword module and end module so what are all the inputs and outputs of the dds dds basically digital direct synthesizer it is basically used for frequency synthesizer it takes phase increment value and generate corresponding frequency value what is the relationship between frequency and phase for that go to the 
Google Chrome and search DDS. I am using DDS Agile and DDS compiler, and this is the given by Jailin. This IP core name is Logic Core IP DDS compiler version 4.0. In this, see the architecture of DDS. This is the architecture of DDS. In this architecture, what is input? Phase increment is the input. And what is output? Output is sine signal or cosine signal or both signal. This is the output. What is the relation between output and input? Phase increment value. F out equal to delta theta into f clock by 2 to the power d theta n. Here, delta theta is the phase increment value and f clock is the f clock is the sampling frequency clock frequency sampling frequency and b 2 to the power b theta n b theta n what is theta n this is the phase 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 width so this is the relation we can use to generate the output frequency based upon input phase increment so in this project i will use i will use jailin dds ip core so how to how to import jailin dds ip core go to ip catalog in this ip catalog search dds here you can see dds compiler just double click on dds compiler here give the name of the dds compiler name i am i am leaving the default name dds compiler underscore zero and i am generating what is the input frequency system clock frequency i am setting as 125 megahertz and SFDR I am setting 96 and frequency resolution I am setting 0.5 noise saving by default auto just I am setting here phase dithering it will reduce the noise it will increase the SNR, reducing the noise. So here, why I have saved here 96 SFDR? Because of, I want 16 bit output. So for this, you have to write here 96 as SFDR. Now go to implementation tab and phase increment value make it programmable at a run time you can program the phase value and generate the output frequency phase offset norm output is i am just generating sine signal you can generate cosine signal as well as sine cosine signal this time i am generating only sine signal and polarity make as negative sign then go to detailed implementation and leave it everything as default output form will be twitch complement form then go to summary you can see here output width is 16 bit phase width is 28 bit frequency resolution is 0.5 hertz angle phase angle width is 14 bit sfdr i have set at 96 okay Based upon the frequency resolution, this is phase width of 28 bit and based upon SFDR, output width is 16 bit. Okay. You can also change, uh, you want uh, for 24 bit output width, you can change the SFDR value. If you want phase width more, more than 28, you can change 
frequency resolution. Here frequency resolution is 0 0.5 Hz. Okay. So I am setting these things only. Then click on OK. And again next click on OK. Now I have customized the DDS compiler. Now click on generate to import the DDS compiler IP code in our project directory. So go to source and here we have successfully imported the DDS compiler. Now go to IP source, expand this DDS compiler 0 and expand instantiation template and double click on very log object file. Double click on this to enlarge the text editor. Here you can see the instantiation file of the DDS compiler. Just copy this instantiation file and go to the TDS module project directory. Just go here and copy paste. Control V to paste it. Okay. Now define the input and output of this DDS compiler. Just copy and paste here. Just I am rearranging each and everything and I am defining the input and output variable of the DDS code. Here input clock in this way, you can also instantiate the DDS compiler and define the input and output port of the DDS compiler. Okay. Here, input as clock, input set as clock input t valid config t valid make semicolon to each and every variable and whatever input and output variable also mentioned in the parenthesis module parenthesis aclk then copy this config t valid then Okay. Then copy config t data data t valid output t data. is t valid is t data ok in this way we have to define input and output of the DDS compiler also give the instance name of the DDS compiler I am giving Instance name is DDS compiler underscore INST instance. In this way, I have instantiated DDS compiler. Just go to the source. You can see, go to hierarchy. You can see, this is the DDS module top. In this, we have instantiated, I have instantiated DDS compiler. Okay. Now, need to configure this one. In next video, I will simulate this uh, DDS compiler and uh, synthesize, I will simulate and verify the functionality of the DDS compiler. Okay, thank you.